Standard Fifth Subject EVS Part One. Lesson number three: The Earth and Its Living World. Introduction. Today, let us find the answer to a few questions. Where do we get water from? We get water from the water reservoirs like the lake, the river, the dam. What is our house built on? Our house is built on the ground. What do we need for respiration? How do we fulfill this need? We need oxygen for respiration. And we fulfill this need by breathing. Earth receives light and heat from. Earth receives light and heat from the sun. What causes day and night, winter and summer? The rotation of the earth causes day and night, winter and summer. Do you know? We find a land on some part of the earth's surface, while water on other. Various envelop around the earth. Living thing exists on land, water, and air. The sun is responsible for many natural events occurring on the earth. The land, water, and life on earth represent the lithosphere, the hydrosphere, atmosphere, and the biosphere. The outer crust of the earth is hard and made up of rocks and soil. This hard crust is known as lithosphere. When we travel by bus or train, we see layers of rocks and soil along road cuts. We see grassy expanses on some places and only sand in other. While traveling by bus or railway at the same places, we see we see land covers with crops and with forest with others. In some places, we get to see deeper layers of soil into which root spreads, and in others, we see rocks split apart by a root. At other location, goats and sheep are seen grazing over the mountain slope. While somewhere, tall cliffs of rocks are seen. This layers of land over the earth surface is the part of lithosphere. Much of the earth surface is occupied by water. The lithosphere extends under this water too. Look at this picture. We can see landforms like plain, land, hill, mountain, etc. The land is not even everywhere. This unevenness gives different shapes to the land in different places. They are known as landforms. Around one third part of the Earth's surface is occupied by land. The vast continuous stretch of land is known as the continent. All the land on the Earth is not continuous. It is divided into seven continents. Look at this map. The seven continents are seen here. They are Africa, South America, North America, Antarctica, Asia, Australia, and Europe. Asia is the largest continent, whereas Australia is the smallest continent. Like lithosphere, it is important to know hydrosphere and atmosphere too. In our next video, we are going to study about hydrosphere. Thank you.